This is part three of the Cyberpunk lamp. And what I've done here is I've made a few changes. Um, I separated out this piece from this one so that I could put on separate materials. I've got something called metal two here and here I've got metal or metal one. So if I go through this, you can see I've got metal two there and I separated out this piece from that piece. That's metal. That one is metal two, metal, metal, metal two, metal. This one is metal. And I separated out this piece. And that's metal two, metal, metal. This one will be metal two, metal two, and metal two. Um, I've also deleted a bunch of things so that I can just texture them once and copy them around. And I've also got metal and metal two on there. One thing that I noticed with this blender uh, version is I'm having trouble UVing uh, with subdivision surfaces on. Uh, I didn't before, <laughs> but I am now, and I'm not sure why. So I've just turned off all the subdivision surfaces. And I've turned off the mirroring, so I don't need that. So I can just do like one, one screw and then just copy it around and one of these and then mirror it and this one of these and then copy it up and i've hidden the other stuff that i don't need so i've already made a uv map uh it's nothing special at all i've come in here and i've marked a couple of seams and i've done that here and there um and uh i didn't spend a lot of time on it i just did something really simple and we'll see how well it works Okay, so I've got my model and I am ready to go. So I'm gonna save it, select it all, and then I'm gonna export it. All right, so here is my lamp with the maps baked. I'm just having a look around to see if I see any discoloration or anything. It looks, it looks okay. All right, so it's time to texture it. And let's see, I can unhide that and you can see where I want to put metal. All right, I'm going to delete the default layer and I'm going to come over to Smart Materials. And you can put down any material that you like. I'm going to search for pipe. And the reason I'm doing that is because I made these uh, materials in a previous uh, video when I did my steampunk lamp. And so if you were to search for that, it's in a blender challenge. And maybe I'll link to, to the first one where I made this either greeny pipe or metal pipe. I just took a basic steel material and I added a bit of noise and stuff. So I'm gonna drag that in. And that is the material that I'm gonna use. When I go back into Blender, I'll reapply the subdivision surface for all of these pieces. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for those. And then I'm gonna come over to Metal 2. I'm gonna default, uh, delete that default layer. And I'm just gonna search for Tank. And this steel tank, it either comes with the Substance Painter or I downloaded it from Substance Share, I'm not sure. I'm gonna drag that over. And uh, that's already a cool look. I might, might use that, but I was actually thinking of just changing the base color here to a brown. I kind of like that and just upping the roughness a bit. And I like I, I like that brown for that. So I will get that up here and there, and just at various spots um, along the way. Okay, so I like that so far. I'm gonna switch over to orthographic view, and uh, this would be the front. All right, I'll mirror that across, and I wanna write some, some text on here as an alpha. And I'm going to create a document size of, I'll do 1024 by 1024. I want something um, uh, square. And I'm going to choose black. So my background is black. All right. And then I'm going to choose the rectangle tool. And I want white. And I want a rounded rectangle. So I'm going to do 20 or 25. I'm going to drag out a rectangle. Pretty big. And then I'm going to center that. 
And on another layer, I'm going to add some text. I'll use a block and maybe courier. And I'm going to write something like, I don't know, 300 watts, so I'll do 500, 500 W. I'll center that and we'll make it a little bit larger. So sort of, sort of like that. Okay, and we're going to stamp that into our into our model, into our texture. I'll go ahead and export that image. We'll say 500 watts, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG at full size. I'm not going to worry about the resolution or anything. Let me click here, add resources, and find it. And then I'm going to choose Alpha Project and Import. I'm going to create a fill layer and a black mask. Right click, add paint. And I'm going to change this to just height by alt clicking it. Bring the height down so I can stamp an alpha in. And on my paint layer, I can now add my alpha. And there it is. I'm going to right click and add another paint layer. And here I'm going to choose something like, I don't know, like a dirt brush or something. Let's try this. Let's see how it is. And we're just going to add a little bit of damage to this. Let's not do it that way. Let's try scratches. Let's see what these look like. Little scratches here and there. Maybe that's too much. Just to have a little bit of damage on this thing. This one looks a little banged up. You can spend as much time as you like on that. Okay, let's see what else we got here that we could use. it. I'll press tab and we'll have a look at this. We can rotate the light by holding shift and right mouse button. Okay, so as my first pass, let's say that's what I want. So I'm going to export those textures. Okay, there, there are the textures. We'll come back now into Blender and I'll go into the shading tab. And I'm going to choose a piece here. This is metal. Click on the principal BSDF and Shift Control T. And I want, where is it? 
metal. Texture one. Base color height, metallic, normal, and roughness. All right, you can see the damage, so that's the right one. And on this one, metal two. Shift control T. This is metal two, base color down to roughness. Okay, let's go back to layout and look dev. Let's start putting back the subdivision surface on these. And mirroring things around. So that's what I have so far. I'm going to look from the front. I'm going to bring back the other stuff. And I'm going to take this and just duplicate it up to where I would approximately want it. I think I'll hide the stuff that I haven't textured yet. And I think maybe just for simplicity, I'll just duplicate these instead of uh, instancing them. And I'll take them. Let's get rid of the mirror for now. And I'm going to uh, rotate Y90. And put one somewhere down on the base here. I mean, that's, you know, doing it with geometry and there's no hole, um, but that's, that's okay for now. So that's what I come up with um, for the moment. There's other things to do. Just keep in mind, you can change your lighting 
and a lot you know a lot of this will depend on the lighting how it looks will depend on the light on the lighting so I'm just changing the HDR uh, for now okay so uh, yeah this one up here yeah so that's what we get so far so there's a little bit more work to do uh, on this I think and uh, the other parts to texture them and move to a uh, final render okay cool all right thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you in the next video